what made you want to even talk about natural and curly hair? Because we know you from working with so many incredible women, like I mentioned, Queen Latifah and Tamron Hall and, of course, Michelle Obama, but Kerry Washington. Um, but that's not, a, we don't think of those women and think of natural hair. So right. what made you want to talk about natural hair? Well, initially, the the conversation came to me through my agent. And, you know, Wiley and Sons reached out to her and said that we would love to Johnny to title a book with us. And initially it was called Natural Hair for Dummies. Okay. But the reason why I added Curly is because we wanted to make sure we, we included the Latino dad community and Hispanic community because they don't necessarily think of their hair as natural. They think of it as curly. And so Smart. I just wanted to offer my expertise in when it comes down to healthy hair care, period. Mm-hmm. Of course, it was focused on textured hair, but anyone that is trying to keep their hair healthy can learn something from this book. So let's talk a little bit about anyone who's out there on a natural hair care journey or on a curly hair journey. Well, yeah, so that's what the book is all about. I really break all of that down. I mean, there's been a lot of conversation about, you know, is the typing, hair typing, you know, spectrum. Another. Is is it something that we should keep on? The reason why I kept it and the reason why I still use it is because it just gives us a sense of direction, right? Mm -hmm. It gives us something to identify to say, okay, this is where I'm close to. This is where I can start off because we all know that every hair texture, every hair type deserves a different type of product, deserves a different type of regimen. All that is different, right? So understanding it that way makes sense. The thing is, is we were not, ne- because of the beauty standards that historically placed on us, right? We were not necessarily taught to treat our natural hair. We immediately went to I mean I know girls that was getting relaxes as early as nine yeah right younger some people even even younger right so or texturized or things so we immediately went to that but if you notice while the first lady was in office Michelle Obama mm-hmm. while she was in office the natural hair community exploded and I do think she had a lot to do with that because it was a woman of her stature right of her hair t- uh her, her, her complexion and also I talked about her hair being natural, although I blow dried it straight. Her hair was natural. It just gave black women permission to become more naturally themselves, mm. right? And so you noticed a lot of companies start making more natural hair care products. Dark and Lovely was one of the pioneers of that as well, too. Yeah. Um, I was working with them at the time. And so there was a lot of people who started to do more to focus on natural hair care. Now it's just exploded everywhere. But a lot of people don't know what it takes to transition. And one thing I do in this book is I don't talk about it in a way that is negative. I, even when I was doing the research for the book myself, it was like people were saying, like, it's hard and it's the this. and You get, you know, I do talk about it being challenging because anything you learn, anything new for you yeah. is challenging, right? Yeah. But after a while, it becomes easy. It's yes. just it's just a process you have to go through mm-hmm. to get your hair exactly how you want it. 